Please tell me he got out okay. Did he? What is going on guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video, and today obviously there is Champions League football going on, but we are kicking off the day with some F1 stuff, because I've actually really, really enjoyed it, I really enjoy driving, um, I wish I enjoyed like watching whole races more, I would actually like to get into it a little bit more, I wish there was F1 game. there probably are F1 video games out there, but like, I don't game like that, I, I specifically don't game like that, I need to do that more, but anyway, we are going to take a look at my first F1 crash. Obviously, I saw one watching Lewis Hamilton's first ever F1 win. Um, he got a win in some nasty crash. I, I think it's the Montreal Grand Prix in 2007 is what it was. But today, we're going to take a look uh, at what apparently is called Gross Jean's insane fireball crash. Gross Jean? Gross, Gross Jean? I'm saying the name wrong. You're allowed to butcher me for it. However, we're gonna take a look at this crash. You guys can let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Let me know everything there is to know about F1. I am a sponge. I want to see more of the sport. I want to observe more of it. And I want to do it with you guys here. So let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. I do apologize if there is the gray screen and a little bit of a blur. Um, it's just so I can avoid copyright from YouTube. But yeah, let's do it. Make sure the volume's all the way up. No distractions. The Lewis Hamilton F1 video, I had such bad audio corrupt. Dude, that is crazy. Just imagine literally taking a turn like that in American NASCAR. Every single car would crash into each other. They are not versatile like these. I would love to, I, maybe the next video we watch with F1 will be like F1 versus NASCAR, so I can understand the difference. Because I don't, you know what I mean, I understand the difference. F1 just is a lot more complex. I'm just talking, I'm just chatting at this rate. He is away. Oh my god. Please tell me he's okay. Please tell me he's okay. Dude, what happened? Dude, what happened? What the fuck happened there? Fuck, fucking get him out. I think. That escalated so quickly. Like, the, the, like a split second. Like, it was like three seconds of him driving and. Dude, what even happened? What happened to his car? He didn't even get, like, he didn't hit anyone. He just, just gone. Yeah, like, he just goes. And he heads right into that barrier. Oh my god. This is recent because people had masks on, so I know it's very recent. Please tell me he's okay. A hundred forty miles an hour, straight into the barricade. What the fuck was that? Dude, you gotta get close to that. You gotta see if he's okay. Please tell me he's actually alive. Please tell me he's actually alive. He is alive, I can see him, oh my god. Oh my god, I just saw him moving. Slow down, please. Dude, go, uh, like, I'm, I know it's a fire. I know, obviously, it's a fire. I'm in there grabbing at him. I swear to God, I saw him. I saw him moving. Oh, my days. 
when the blaze is only getting bigger, like you have to. Please tell me he got out. Did he actually get out of the car? There are certain moments where silence falls on a racing track, and you know what that means. Please tell me he survived, dude. If if I just watched a man die for the first time, I'm I'm done with F1. I I'll, I'll be done with F1 if we actually if I actually just watched a man die in a burning car wreck. You cannot do anything. You're just a passenger for this. The world seems to be coming down on you. What happened? Why did his car just go? Once you see fire, that's the worst thing you can have. This is bad. Like, dude, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm, as, as a firefighter, dude, I'm diving in. I'm diving in to grab him. I felt very, very vulnerable in that moment. Everything goes through your head. You don't think that anybody can get uh, out the life of this one. How have I never heard of this? How have I never heard of this? This makes no sense. Why is this? I, I don't like that this is the first thing that comes up when you look up F1 crash. And it's extremely traumatic. Jesus Christ. He's not coming out. The longer you sit and you wait, the more the fear kicks in because your instincts are that you know what the reality is. Where is he at in that? When I saw the fireball, I couldn't believe that this could happen in modern Formula One cars. And it's like the moment he hit, yeah, a car doesn't break in half. Like, that's so messed up. Only when you see the thing, you believe the danger that we are, we're going to. Please tell me they did not continue the race after this. The big question was, where's, where's the rest of the car? As I looked to my right, I could see uh, the driver through the, the gap in the flame. That's him. I knew I saw him. I knew I saw him. Please tell me he got out okay. Please tell me he got out okay. Did he... so happy I've never been so happy my entire life thank goodness <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> dude look at his side of his helmet is charred And these no burns, no nothing? He wanted to walk to the ambulance and he's insisted, no, 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 we'll, we'll get the ambulance here. But he wanted to demonstrate that he was okay. He got a message to everyone, his wife and family in particular, that he was actually... <sighs> Bro, that... Yo, I'm having a heart attack. That scared the life out. I knew, I knew when they had that first little image, like of that still, I could see him moving. I, and I literally just thought that we were watching a man burn alive. Like I thought I was watching him actually move and burn. He's, I don't know how he survived that, but big up, big up to him. Oh my God. Bro, 
I'm done with the F1 video. I'm done with this video. Please, guys, if we're going to watch F1 crashes, if we're getting recommended F1 crashes on this channel, something that's not as diabolical as this, I don't want to see that. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Um, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know other stuff about F1. I'd love to know, actually, maybe not more about the situation, more about this race, more about what happened to the car, why the car did that. Thank you, guys. Peace.